This is Hydrogen Tap. It's Saturday, 5 and 4. What I'm going to do now is try to find out what the heck is going on with this 16 cell unit that I put together. If you recall in the last video, that's 109. It wasn't producing hydrogen, just a lot of large bubbles. I believe the reason for that is when you add all these cells together, you need more space. And that's what we're going to investigate now. We're going to take this and install it in a larger container. Everything else stays the same. I'm not taking the cells apart. We're going to put distilled water in there and then put very, very little bit of lye in there. From now on, all my videos, all my testing is going to be done with distilled water and lye. Distilled water will not conduct electricity. There's no electrolytes in it. So that gives me a great bottom line. And then all I have to do is figure out how much electrolyte or lye I'm going to use for this. Right now I have no way to measure it. I, I'm going to be using a spoon to show you, but this weekend I'm going to go out and get a scale that will measure parts of an ounce. The first thing I'm going to do is flush the cell, and that is by putting distilled water in it to get rid of any impurities that are on the cell already. I'm not going to get rid of the water. All I'm going to do is dilute it. In other words, any impurities that float around in there, I will consider it not enough to do any harm. In the last video, we showed that the two plate system that is 6 by 12, two plates, outproduced this system that has 16 plates, 3 by 8. Actually, this cell didn't do any good, didn't do anything as far as I'm concerned. We hooked it to a 12 volt supply. If my guess is correct, we put this to the test here, we're going to see a big difference. We've got the system flushed now. We'll take the unit out and put our lie in. The basic cell arrangement is great. It's one eighth inch apart. The electrodes go across alternately and there is no wire to it. There's a strap on one electrode going to the top and a strap on the alternate electrode. The straps are stainless steel and they're about an inch wide. They go from the top of the cell to the bottom. So we'll pull this out, and now we'll put our lie in. What you're going to see here is two tests, essentially. We're testing to see how much lie it's going to take to make this produce. The last test, I noted that since the cells, there are so many cells, it takes very little bit of lie to make them conduct power from one cell to the one plate to the other. So I'm going to be very cautious and put very, very little. You could almost call this a pinch of why most other people that are talking about their cells, they're talking about putting in around a less than a pinch. But also remember they're not putting it in a container this wide. put this in here, 
this is just a baseline. We're going to see how it does. That is a lot of water. That's about a gallon there. I'm planning to use this cell to go with the Honda. So I'm determined to get it to run. I just turned it on in we've got about a little more than five amps going through it. That's not enough to produce anything. So what we'll do is take an add. As you can see, that's still not very much. But I can tell you right now, that's too much. Keep in mind, this is a test. And once we get the bottom line, we can start back to work. So you've got, geez, two pinches of lie in there now. which isn't very scientific, but all I want is to see this cell produce. Well, let's turn it on and let's see what we have. Well, we've gone from 5 amps to 30. And guess what? There you go. This is producing so much hydrogen. This is running on, well, it's settled back again to about 15. Uh, what's that? I couldn't even read it. It's producing so much hydrogen. This will be more than enough to do our first, first test on the Honda. There you go, 20, about 25 amps. I had a question a while back, why aren't I using the digital meter? The reason is it only goes to 10 amps. I cannot use it past that. I'm trying to get a picture here of the hydrogen going into the air. I can see it with my eyes, but I guess the camera can't quite make it out. There's so much hydrogen coming up there that it literally is, is wisping into the air. I also have turned on a fan that's about three feet wide. There's just so much hydrogen in that air. The good news about hydrogen is once it escapes, finds its way out quickly. I think this answers part of our question anyway. The cell's producing fine. Too much lie in there right now, but it needs to be in a bigger tube. What I'm going to do is install this tube in, and install this into the same type of tube that the two cells in. Here I've got a, a uh, voltmeter in there so you can see I knew I would have that question. That's 12.8. 27 volts. We'll turn it on. It brings it down to 11.7. That's the voltage. I feel better.